Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer and move to Arsenal. Brought to you today in association with the excellent football app, OneFootball. Uh, don't forget you can download it in the description. Uh, I was just reading on the app uh, all about the game at the weekend uh, when Arsenal are going to be travelling to Anfield to take on Liverpool. Tough game that one, uh, great analysis there about the game. So make sure you check out that app, it's really, really good. Now. Let's get into the transfer rumours. Another rumour that's featured on that app is all about Oxalate chamberlain oh, It goes on and on and on the whole summer. But we're reading today that uh, Arsenal are willing to offer him £180,000 a week. That is a lot of money for Alex Oxalate chamberlain Is he worth that amount? Who knows? But certainly, we've left it so late at Arsenal to get this deal done that now... The player holds all the power. If we want to keep him, we've got to pay him good wages or he will be off. The rumour is that Arsenal are willing to pay him £180,000 a week. They're trying to fend off interest, particularly from Chelsea, who we know can match the wages of most teams, if not better it, and are also apparently willing to pay £35 million for him. Um, Arsenal are desperate to keep Oxley chamberlain who's really now starting to come to the fore. Will they be able to keep hold of him? That is the question. Um, we're really going to have to wait and see. And is Alex Oxley chamberlain worth £180,000 a week? Certainly since the start of the season, he's looked like one of our most exciting players. He really is getting better and better. Arsene Wenger even coming out yesterday and saying that, almost literally saying that Ox owes it to Arsenal to stay because of all the time, effort and everything they put into developing him. And certainly, he's been at Arsenal a long time and it's only just now that he's starting to show us what he can do. But um, who knows what is going to happen with him? Just like who knows what's going to happen with Squadron Mustafi. Now, about a week ago when I heard these rumours linking him to Inter Milan, I was thinking, no way will Arsenal sell uh, Mustafi. Then more rumours came in linking him with Juventus. And then Wenger in his press conference yesterday heaping you know more things on this uncertainty by saying that literally saying that he's not 100 percent sure what he'll do if you know big offers come in for mustafi that's basically what he was saying now that means that arsenal to me may be willing to sell mustafi because he was adamant on alexis he's not going he's saying ox ain't going but on this mustafi thing a little bit of uncertainty now are Arsenal willing to sell Mustafi and try and recoup back the £35 million that they spent for him last year. He started off the season well, as we all know. Then he had a dip after his injury. Came back last week, didn't look great, but it was just his first game back. Are Arsenal prepared to cash in and get the money back for Mustafi and then possibly go and get somebody like a Virgil van Dijk? Now, I don't know if this rumour today is just because of the uncertainty about Mustafi or if it's genuine, but the rumour is that Arsenal have been in talks with the representatives of Virgil van Dijk. Now, if this is true, I would welcome it. He's a top, top defender, probably one of the best centre-halves in the Premier League. Last year, when I watched him, the couple of times when he played against Arsenal, he looked commanding, he looked strong, he looked like a leader. All the sort of things that we lack um, in our defence at Arsenal. And uh, Van Dijk, as we know, Liverpool were chasing him. They messed up the whole deal, tapped him up literally, and uh, they got pushed back. Otherwise, he would have been going to Liverpool. Uh, and now he's there at Southampton. He's really unhappy. He wants to leave. They're refusing to let him leave. Could it be a possibility that Arsenal could get a deal for Virgil van Dijk done? Now, remember, it will be very expensive, 60 to 70 million pounds. But you know what? What have Arsenal spent this transfer window? If you look at the net spend, Kolasinac free, Lacazette, what? 50 million pounds, they say it's going to be all in all by the time it's finished. But we've already recouped back um, 15 million pounds for Chesney. We've recouped back, um, you know, more money for other players. About 25 million pounds already we've recouped. Uh, we we probably get you know about another say nearly up towards 50 million for selling Lucas Perez, so the net spend at Arsenal has been very very low. If you remember that we spent nearly 100 million last season, 
there's no reason why Arsenal couldn't go out there and buy Virgil van Dijk, even though it would be very expensive. There's no reason. And it could be such an important signing. It could be... What it would remind me of is when we bought Sol Campbell. And I'm not saying Virgil van Dijk is on that level of Sol Campbell, because he's not. But in the current defenders that are out there, he's one of the best. Now, it would really remind me of a signing like that, because it would be a statement to say we're solidifying that problem area, which is our defence. And a defence with... Van Dijk and Koscielny there would be formidable in the Premier League and just what Arsenal need. Of course, as I said, the stumbling block, of course, would be Southampton. Um, they obviously want to keep hold of him. Van Dijk wants to play Champions League football, so maybe Liverpool or Chelsea might be um, more attractive to him. But certainly, if Arsenal and Arsene Wenger are serious about winning the Premier League, and we are going to say... You know, we'd be willing to listen to offers from Mustafi and shift him out. Surely it would have to be a player like Van Dyke that would have to come in. Otherwise, there'd be no point in selling Mustafi. I don't know what you guys think. Um, leave it in the comments below. But for me, we should be, if we're serious about wanting to win the Cham when, Champions League, we're not even in that, the Premier League, we should be trying to get somebody like Virgil Van Dyke. Um, finally, Jack Wilshire. What's happening with Jack Wilshire? Um, Wenger saying yesterday that um, listen, he's still open to Wilshire staying and for him fighting for his place. Aston Villa linked with uh, Jack Wilshire yesterday. Steve Bruce literally coming out and saying that we'd love to sign him. Jack Wilshire dropping down to the to the Championship that would be a massive step back. Um, could he, you know, stay get fit and play in what's a problem area for Arsenal? That creative area in the middle of the park. Who knows what's going to happen with Jack Wilshere? Another area of uncertainty. And certainly the next uh, week is going to be really interesting for Arsenal. As I said, the window closing on the 31st of August, which is next week, Thursday. Um, don't forget today to download the uh, app, the OneFootball app. The link is in the description below. Excellent app, as I said. And thanks for watching the show today. Give me your comments on one, is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain worth £180,000 a week? And number two, should Arsenal get rid of Squadra Mustafi and then go all out and sign Virgil van Dijk? Let me know. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV.